Yeah, it should be good. Can I pick up the odd thing? No. Okay, I'm gonna hit that single player. And then new game, go custom, make it mild. And then all recipes unlocked and for free. Yes, please. Bug spawn, quest are go. Bugs ignore players. No, we still want them to attack us, but we can turn that off later. Building integrity is off. Player damage, turn that off. Friendly fire, that doesn't matter. Playing by ourselves. Hunger down, stamina down, equipment down, food spoiling. We can change that later, but we'll start it with it down. Menu, pauses game. Yes, please. When we die, which we won't because we can't, then, then we'll respawn with the backpack. And then we are going to play as hey, Willow. I'm Willow. Willow Branch. She's, she's the funniest one. The most, most fun to listen to. All right, Willow. Let's go. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, prominent practical technology science is here. Nightmare. My favorite. <laughs> well, what version is it? Endless cave, bottomless pit, and possibly claustrophobic passages. It, it's the nightmare where we're shrunk down by 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 a by a by a mad scientist. Not an evil scientist, but he definitely is mad. Spaces to jump. Because we turned on all the story mode, uh all all the story will still be here, all the tutorial will still be here, but we can build to our heart's content. And so we're just we're just gonna go on a nice adventure of grounded. There won't be all of the extra this episodes at the end. This is bad. Take, take a picture. Really take a picture. bad. Time to wake up. <laughs> Got a picture of a weevil and an ant. But yeah, so there won't we won't be wasting any time. Oh. Whoa. So much stuff. And that's not an alarm clock. Well, whatever it is, maybe I should figure out where it's coming from. Yeah. You know, until I wake up. Uh huh. Totally waking up. Any second. Any second now. <laughs> so yes, we are going to be playing the creative version of this. That way we can fly through the story, see what it is. It's still a long game, even though we are playing in creative. And we'll still collect stuff and get our raw science. So it, it'll just be a nice playthrough where we're, we're not wasting so much time building and collecting. But we still need to, still need to collect some stuff. Send it through the scanner. Here's our first field station. I've played this game a few times, but it recently just released like the full access game, so they added way more to the backyard. Oh, there's E to click that to, to, to pick it up. Then there's some candy bars. We don't need those. There must and be someone in charge of this science experiment. Well, I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. Analyze some stuff real quick. Getting that raw science way up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look for more science equipment. Okay, that is definitely not normal. What? A bunch of ants eating some eating some dew? Is that an aphid? It's pretty cute up close. Where? Where's the aphid? That thing? Aphid. <laughs> Must be one closer to us, but that's the one we scanned. Because it, it it also you gotta take pictures of all the creatures. So you got you gotta you gotta catch them all in your in your little camera. The camera the camera being being your hands like that oh there's a there's a cassette i was a fool to have ever doubted myself a fool like klein like kaminsky like schmechter like all of ominent i am here in the backyard 
down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. Me too. I Let's am that could tiny! Looks like something is happening. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. The other two lasers are blocked. We'll go clear that blockage. Build one of these. And then see how everything is unlocked. And I'm still waiting for the game to add a lot more customization stuff. Because they have like a couch and a chair and picture frames and stuff. But I want like bookshelves and little counters and more decorations, please. Because that's, that's why we turned on creative. So we can just build some nice houses every once in a while. But we need a uh, workbench. This thing. Let's pop this down right here. And then we can start, start getting our stuff. That's a lot of tools. They added so many new tools when the game released. But we just need our termite axe. And then we need our big hammer. A shovel. We'll take a bow for now. And then some splinter arrows. That's a pretty good staff. We'll probably build one of those. And splat bursts. We need a bunch of those to get through a bunch of different places. So we'll build them while, we, while we're here. Evercraft torch. Need a repair tool. Don't need a shield. Bone dagger. And that's it. We could build some armor, but uh, we can also build armor later. So where's that plant? This one. So we gotta knock this down. Mm-hmm. Now that one's on. And that one's already on. And this one needs to be turned on. So we'll go over there quick. So even though we can't die, insects are still going to want to attack us. So we'll still get a little bit of the fear of the giant spiders. I thought about doing a full playthrough of this game and beat and trying to beat it legit, but I didn't want to spend 30, 40, 50 episodes getting lost like I already, I already am. Where'd that laser go? Have y'all seen a laser? I'll just go back. That one. Okay. <laughs> Beat it, nosy. Yeah, beat it, nosy. You dragging Mites. your snout all over the place. Mite. Oh, right. Okay, 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 oh, okay. Really? Time to do some murdering. Because this thing's, this thing drops like little flame fireballs. <laughs> so it's a, it's a little effective. Good grief. Oh, gross. Gross. <laughs> But not, but not, did you get ya? There you go. Now you're dead. And you? Oh, went a little high. A little high, a little low. A little death, a little might. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need a torch to get in here. Or maybe we'll be just fine. Our fireballs will light the way. They had no idea what was coming to them. And then this staff. You can one click for the fireball, but also, if you hold on to it, you can make a mega fireball. It's pretty effective against some of the some of the insects. So this is gonna be a full spoiler playthrough. That's pretty much why we're here, is to spoil the game and to build some cool houses. Okay, all three of the beams are set. We are ready to go. Activate. Yes. <laughs> so way over there, we gotta go investigate. It wants us to craft a torch, craft a pebble axe, and investigate the tree oak, the oak tree. And we turn stamina off too, so it's just, it's just a whole game of holding, holding the shift button. Oh, oh, there's a spider web. Taking a look around. Oh, there, there was a spider. That was an orb weaver. So I'll probably just go around this, oh, I guess we're going that way anyways. And this big tree, this is where the wolf spiders live. Oh, some raw science up there. Looks looks a little high. Whoa. Mark has got a new one here. There, there's a ladybug inside inside the wolf the wolf nests. It's just a very beautiful game. So I thought we'd go on a nice little tour. I don't know how the edit is gonna go for this one. Cause I don't I don't know if you've noticed, but uh I'm not in my regular place. So I got this background going on right now. I'm actually at my parents' house because we are about to move into a house here in November sometime. And so we're 
hanging out at my parents' place until we're ready to move into there. Scrabble along. So very exciting right. times, and then I'll be more in my own setup. So otherwise you feel a little weird recording in a place you're not used to after I spent a year recording in that apartment. But here we are in the Oak Lab. I didn't really introduce it, but we're, we're, we are here. This is another tape. We'll listen to that. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. Raw science. Order received. Raw science identified. That's Burgle. That's this guy that's dead on the floor. <laughs> no, 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 no. Help. None of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted. I'm just going to help this guy up while he, while he talks on the tape. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Burgle. We're just going to step away for a second while you do your intro talking. Thanks for the helping hand. You're welcome. I am Burgle, acting science manager for this project. That's I am nice. also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but That's hopefully I can explain. Yes, I'm very disoriented. Another tape. Uh, we'll grab that in a second. Because this guy has just a shitload of dialogue to go through, and we're not going to listen to all of it. I'm just going to click through it, and you can see how long it is with me. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for- I suspect you are and miniaturized by- That was a lot of talking. Okay, so this is the quest computer. So we just accepted those three quests, and more will pop up as we go. And this is the science shop. This is where we go to spend our raw science. We have all of this unlocked, but it is going to want us to get some of the stuff. So we'll, we'll collect raw science as we go, and then we also have a lot of molars to get. So we'll go get our first one of those. And, and then, the, then the playthrough will all kind of like, it'll all come together. We'll get in the groove, and we'll start going. Just got to scan my whole hand here. We're in. This is what's powering the whole place. It's just forward. Four nine volts. Nothing too fancy. Another tape to listen to. This While morning I, I this. installed the borrowed lab modules. Pop over. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. Gimme, 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 gimme. Ah. Kinder Science ah. Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. Ah. But you. no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. Right. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Uh-huh. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time. But they will do for now. Oh, you have no idea, Mr. Man. <clears throat> Your science really, really just tears this whole backyard apart. And now, and now the game's open. It's like there, there you go. You're, you're all set to, you're all set to do whatever you want. So we're gonna build a little home quick. Cause what's my, what's my counter at? Twenty four. Okay, that's fine. But it, that's why, that's why we're gonna build a little home first. We we'll get our wood, wood going, and then we'll get a door. Bam, bam, bam. That's gonna be where the door is. Get a little curve to it. Yeah, get another door right down there. Go back around. I guess we could have put a foundation down. That would have been good. But this is just a starter house. A nice sturdy door. And then we gotta we got gotta put in a window. Where's our windows? There they are. Need a staircase to get to the upper floor to do do the roof. Get on there. Why do you want it there? I want it here. Fine. It's getting late. It's getting late. If I don't make some shelter, I bet some horrible insects will come around and eat me or something. Ugh. Good thing we're invincible. But we are building a structure for, for Betty by time. Right now. Eh. Whatever. Support the... Here we go. Gotta make it look nice. 
go upstairs. Leaving some spaces for windows. Ooh, we could put a little a little porch. A little a little a little deck. A little railing. Get our door. Window. And then need our roof pieces, so uh, another stairs just to get up, and then I'll get rid of the stairs later. Good thing we turned building integrity off. That's the only curve, yep. Okay, we'll do a leaf roof to begin with, otherwise there's only feathers and leaves for roofs. Hang it over the edge, push it over that edge. Is that going to be okay with, with the balcony there? We'll see. We can always adjust it. And that goes out one more. Ah. Don't even have to build a little a little arch thing on the top. Oh, yep, sweet. This one just missed. Don't miss out on this side there. Because it's got to hang over the house, otherwise it looks weird. Learn that from Minecraft. Build this up. Mm-hmm. This is a gate. Yep. <laughs> Need the wall. And and do the other thing. Where's that half wall? There. And then let's get rid of this triangle piece and put up a big floor. Oh, that's right, because I meant to do it on this side. Taking a look around. Taking a look around. Okay. Oh, this needs a railing. And now some lights. And this will give us a beautiful little place just to start. Hanging lights. Gorgeous. Those turn on when it gets dark enough. The game really wants us to go pick up those sprigs. And the roof's not too bad. It's a little, it's a little tight. But we'll, but we'll keep it. Gorgeous. Go light up downstairs. Getting some good gameplay going now. And this, this house right here would have taken us uh, five hours of playing, minimum. And that's if we had the tools to get all of these and collect them. And Let's get some stuff in here. Workbench. Trail marker would be good so we can call this place home. And here next to our door, the blue home, since we're by the water. A bed. Put that upstairs. Is there a little table? Oh, this one, clover table. Oh, it's just a little bit smaller. And then what, the refrigerator? Put that right next to it. Because if you don't have a refrigerator next to your bed, what are you doing? Could put some shelves up too while we're at it, as long as we're here. And there, and here. Now we can put some fake chests there to make it look like it's full of stuff. And turn it a little bit so it looks like it's a little, a little, uh, not, not so centered. Go over to these ones. These are also little chests, the tiny ones. And it's a little dark in here yet. Get some of these for ambient light. All right, not that that helped a lot. Go back downstairs. What else can we put? Get a little roasting pit, a little garden patch. Put a glue masher right there. Smoothie station, right here. Because we need to make some smoothies to go beat the big bad spiders. An oven, a little inconvenient for the stairs, but you know, what are you gonna do? And then a spinning wheel. And a lot of this is decora decoration to make it look like it's full. But we will use some of this stuff. I mean, I could put a little, a little berry chair right here for, for sitting. She looks cozy. We'll go outside and, and look, look at that, huh? Built a little house. Maybe I should light up the outside. Would that help with the ambience? I thought, I'm, I thought I heard some, some, some stepping of a spider. Maybe, maybe we did. You'll definitely hear when, when one's attacking us. They are not subtle about their murder. Beautiful. Yes, we'll collect the sap. Fine. And then you want us to pick this up? You gotta cut it down. Thank you. Do you still want us to collect the dew? Or not the sap? I'll build a lean-to. That's why. It wants us to go to bed. So our respawn point will be this bed. Nighty-night. You can only sleep six hours. And you can't sleep if you've recently slept. I wish you could t uh, pick what time you woke up at. Use the front. Yep. Yeah. Front door right there at the bottom of the stairs. Very strange intro. 
to this game. Not what I was thinking I was going to do when I thought, well, Grounded would be a good game. So let's end the episode by going into the wolf spider's place and doing a little murder. Would that be fun? Would that be a fun thing to do? We want the sap. We'll get our big, our big staff on. Taking there they a look are. Around. Peeped a new one. The wolf spider. It seems kind of unfair if they're sleeping. Oh. Run! Oh, and there's an ant in here. He's gonna, he's gonna be dead soon. Yeah, this game's a little, it's a little, it's a, it's a little scary if, if you weren't, if, if you're afraid of spiders. And that's it. Mutation. I got, I got a new mutation and some sap. And then when you want out to him, you go, yeah. <laughs> So there is a mode that you can turn on. It makes the spiders less scary. Options. Accessibility. Arachnophobia safe mode. <laughs> so we can turn that up to five. And then they just turn into these little gloobs. Their sound effects are still spidery. And then we'll go up a setting. And now they just look like that. So if that's too much for you, you can go even one more. Let's do another at three. Now you can see, oops, did I not, did I not? Oop, nope, back, options, accessibility, three. Isn't that right? Only, oh, I don't know, anyway. Accessibility, and then number two, apply. Oh, and they still don't have legs? but they do look very spooky. And then go to a one. How do they have legs? Yeah, now they have legs. Oh, but they only have two legs each, on each side instead of four. <laughs> but we're gonna keep it under spooky spooky because something has to be exciting about this game if I'm not gonna play legit. Thank you for your goo. Isn't there a tooth in here? Yeah, yeah, this is why we needed those bombs. All right there, and huck it. <laughs> It sticks to everything. Boom, boom. Is there? Yeah, there's a tooth. Boom. Thank you. Okay, let's go home. Yeah, this game reminds me a lot of Subnautica because it feels like the map size feels about the same, where it's from the center, 2,000 meters in every direction, except for here it's centimeters. Cause you, cause you itty bitty. Ooh, and that big castle. We'll build something there. Yeah, has really good relaxing, chill vibes where you can just kind of hang out in the backyard and see lots of cool stuff and feel like you're down on the, down on the little, little ground because we're smaller than an ant. You got your eyes closed. She was mid blink. <laughs> so this should be a fun adventure. A very chill, laid back, no, no screaming. Just story, spoilers, and building. Should be a fun, fun and new series. New and fun series. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate it. We'll see you on the next episode. See ya. I also did not do like a main intro to this, to this game. Which, which is fine. Who, who, who needs intros, right? That's, that's like what the splash screen is for. I don't need to be like, hey, welcome back. My name is Travis. My name is Travis, by the way. If this is your first video watching and you made it all the way to the end, hi, my name is Travis. Thanks for watching, guys.